The joyful mystery of Easter is so great it cannot be contained in a single day. Therefore, the Church's celebration of Easter lasts for 50 days, culminating in the Feast of Pentecost. During the 50 days of Easter, it is the tradition of the Church to read aloud the Acts of the Apostles. Join us as we enter into this ancient practice together, reading a short portion of Acts each day for 50 days. But first take a moment, light a candle, take a breath, and pray for the coming of the Holy Spirit. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Now the, now the church in Antioch, uh, there, were prob there were prophets, teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius, uh, Cyrene, Manson, a member of the court of Herod, the ruler, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord, and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for work to which I have called them. And then after fasting and praying, they laid down their hands on them and sent them off. The apostles preached at Cyprus. So, being set out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Seleucia, and from there, they sailed to Cyprus, where they arrived at Salamis. They proclaimed the word of God in the, in the synagogues of the Jews. And they, and they had John also to assist them. And when they had gone through the whole island, as far as Paphos, uh, they met a certain magician, a Jewish false prophet named Bar-Jesus. And he was with the procession. He was with the proconsul, Sergius Paulus, an intelligent man who summoned Barnabas and Saul and waited to hear the word of God. But the magician, Elimus, for that is the trans translation of, of his name, opposed them and tried to turn the processional, the proconsul away from the faith. But Paul, but Paul also, but Saul also, known as Paul, uh, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked intently at him and said, you son of the devil, you enemy of all righteousness, full of all deceit and villainy, will you not stop making crooked the straight paths of the world of the Lord? And now listen, the hand of the Lord is against you and you will be blind for a while, unable to see the sun, Immediately, a mist and darkness came over him, and he went about groping for someone to lead him by the hand. And when the proconsul saw what had happened, he believed, so he was astonished at the teachings about the Lord. I wonder what words or phrases, images, actions, or characters stand out for you. What questions do you have? What do you notice? What do you wonder? What part of this reading is especially for you? Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Come now, Spirit Maranatha. Come now, Spirit Maranatha. Come now, Spirit. 